It is hard to believe it's been 10 years since Australia's first and only female Prime Minister delivered one of the most memorable moments in Australian politics with her famous misogyny speech. Now Julia Gillard's stinging words are about to fill the ears of a whole new generation. One clever Queensland artist has set the speech to music in what's being called a misogyny opus. I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. And the government will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. Not now, not ever. She was fierce. Julia Gillard unbridled and unwavering when she delivered her misogyny speech in Parliament House a decade ago. The famous phrase has been given new life through quirky merchandise and TikTok renditions. Because if he wants to know what misogyny looks like in modern Australia, he doesn't need a motion in the House of Representatives. He needs a mirror. The former Prime Minister's words are about to hit hard all over again. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker, and I rise to oppose the motion moved by the Leader of the Opposition. Now, Karen Jacobson, the original voice of the GPS, has written this classical music masterpiece. It came like a bolt from the blue and I ran to my computer and I searched up a transcript of the speech and I mean it was there was this urgency I ran to my piano and started to set it to music word for word. The music video features 70 equality activists from around the globe. I was One familiar face is Queensland's Auslan interpreter Mikey Webb. So for me it was always women were equals like there was there was no concept of lesser and then listening to her speech was very much like a, oh okay this is going on um subliminally in, in such a high office and there's no plans to make this a one-hit wonder i'm working on finishing the rest of the album which is about a one hour pop orchestral work misogyny opus the album is due to be released next year with a national tour to follow and the government will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man not now, not ever. Kate Banville for 10 News First.